of snake charmers hello dear children how are you i hope you all are well and good at your places children everything that we are surrounded by is called our environment this environment includes a variety of living beings and organisms including animals and birds snakes fascinate me i personally am very keen to know about snakes have you ever seen a real snake so kids today i am going to talk about snakes only with you all we are going to study a snake charmer story So be ready to hear this story with me. Meet Aryanath. Aryanath is going to tell us something about himself. So, first of all, he introduces himself and says his name is Aryanath. Aryanath says he can do something which none of us might be able to do. He tells that he can play the bean. He tells that he can also make snakes dance. Aryanath tells that he has learned this art from his family members. Means the art of making the snakes dance to the tunes of their beans. This art he has learned from his family members. Next he tells that we are known as Kalbelias. Means we are addressed by the name kalbelia further mr aryanath tells that his grandfather was very famous in community means he was very popular his name was roshan nath ji he has told a lot of stories of his good old days he has told me that he used to catch extremely poisonous snakes with ease without any difficulty i will tell you all that he told me so many a times my grandfather used to tell me about himself come with me let's hear this story in his own words grandfather remembers so my grandfather and his grandfather also were snake charmers Everyone used to call them sapera means snake charmers. He used to tell all that their lives revolve around the snakes. My grandfather told that he used to go to different villages carrying our bamboo baskets in which they had pet snakes. He tells that people used to gather in crowds around them when they used to go to their villages kids elders all used to stand around them wherever they used to go people used to start revolving around them after this they used to bring out their variety of snakes from the bamboo baskets and then made them dance also means the snakes used to start dance over the tunes of the beans grandfather tells that even after the show of the snake dance were over the crowds of the people would keep standing as they all knew that this tin box contains a lot of useful medicines These medicines were made by grandfather and his father from a lot of plants collected from the forest. It was very tough job. And Aryanath further tells, I also learned all this from my grandfather, including the bean playing, collecting the medicinal parts of plants, making medicines. Aryanath's dadaji or grandfather is telling that many a times 
I used to feel so good when people used to call us for medicines and medical aids as there were very few hospitals and doctors available. So they used to call us and we enjoyed helping people. And usually people used to get well also by taking all these medicines made by us. This means our medicines actually used to work miracles in healing people. Then in return people used to give them money or else food items or cereals etc. Then he tells that this was how they used to earn their daily breads. In this way, their whole life actually revolved around snakes and all their lives were dependent upon snakes only. Not only their own lives were dependent upon these snakes, but also medicines made from these trees and these snakes which they used to make were like a blessing for the people of the villages. They had saved many precious lives with the help of these medicines. What happened many a times that they were called at various places where people had been bitten by snakes. Then they used to watch carefully the spot where the snake had bitten and investigated which species of snake had actually attacked. They used to recognize the species of the snake by observing the bite spot. After this, they used to give the specific antivenom that would help the patients to recover soon. But many a times, they could not reach on time because many snakes were extremely poisonous. The victims used to die on the spot. But there are very few snakes of this kind. Most of the snakes are not poisonous or are less poisonous. If such snakes bite the victim, the victims do not die on the spot. Many a times, some farmers used to come out of their farms screaming, Snake! Snake! They used to come out of their farms running in very frightened state and I used to go there and catch the snakes very easily because catching a snake is what I had learned during my childhood only. Then grandfather is wondering how good were those old days when we used to help people so much. How much we used to entertain people. We used to play melodious beans in front of people and made our snakes dance. But time has changed now. These days, people have opted for various other entertainment sources. Now, people entertain themselves from television watching right inside their homes. Then, as I grew up, my father, means your grandfather, taught me how the teeth called the fangs of the snakes that bite are extracted and how to close the tube of poison in the snake's mouth. So all these things were told by Aryanath's grandfather to him. Then grandfather taught him to make medicines, play the bean, extract the poisonous fangs of the snake and close the poisonous tube as well. He taught him everything. Further, Aryanath's grandfather also tells about his father how his father learned playing beans and from where he learned this art. Here he tells that my father learned to play the bean 
on his own without formally learning it he tells when i used to go from one village to another he was very young and he used to go with me from that young age only and kept on watching me carefully so i did not actually teach him how to play the beat rather he learned it himself by carefully watching and listening my bean playing so what it earlier was that the snake charmers used to go to village to village and entertain people and earned money but times today are very tough for the snake charmers now the government has also put up law and order restrictions against catching wildlife animals none can now catch a wild animal nor anyone is allowed to keep wild animals with himself many people used to catch wild animals and used to sell them at very profitable prices now the government has imposed many laws against this practice also many people used to kill the innocent animals and sold them for heavy prices but after the imposition of law this is not possible now government has put a stop on catching of wild animals in this way the way the snake charmers used to earn has come to an end aryanath's father tells that he himself never ever did any harm to snakes neither he had ever killed a snake or never ever sold his skin in the market in fact he kept them in a very good and comfortable manner many people are of the view that we used to keep our snakes in very poor state but it's not like that at all if we wished we could also sell the snakes skin and could earn a lot of money but we never did that aryanath's father tells that we never killed snakes snakes for us are our treasures which we give to our next generations we have never ever even tried of killing the snakes neither bought this kind of idea in our minds in fact snakes are our savings like treasures we also gift snakes to our daughters when they get married to this extent we respect our snakes that in our traditional folk dance named kalbeliya we dance making the snake poses we dance like same way the snakes do so aryanath's father tells that you for yourself have to think of some other kind of lifestyle now you are also as good as your father in playing the bean you played very well now because you have got your father's art of playing bean as a gift from him so you can think of some more innovative way of earning your livelihood using this art like you are already an expert in playing beans so you with your friends do bean parties with which you can entertain your friends but this art and knowledge that you have gained from your grandfather and great grandfather should not go waste you should teach this art to your partners how the poison of the snakes can be stopped how are their fangs removed and how their poisonous tubes in their mouth can be closed 
These days the children of the cities do not know about the art of snake charmers because the government has made it illegal to catch wild animals for everyone. So the children of the cities are totally unaware of this entertainment style. You should tell people that they should neither be afraid of snakes nor should they hate the snakes. With these kinds of discussions, you should tell people that we should increase our knowledge about the snakes and teach them that all snakes are not poisonous. You should tell everyone that we should increase our knowledge about the snakes and make them learn that all the snakes are not poisonous. All this you should tell to the children of cities and towns who don't know about this art. So, also tell your partners how snakes are friends of humans. Snakes eat up rats who destroy the fields. In this way, if there are no snakes, the rats would destroy whole crops. So, the presence of snakes is very important for us. Then his father tells him that Aryanath, you make your own new story to share with your grandchildren because this is our traditional knowledge which the snake charmers should know. We should never forget our past, so we should keep sharing our stories with our children and grandchildren ahead too. And you also do the same. So children, are you still afraid of snakes? I know, now your fear about snakes must have become quite less than earlier. Okay, tell me, are all snakes poisonous? Hmm, right, all snakes are not poisonous. Yes, but the poison of many snakes is life-taking. Children, I want to tell you another important thing about snakes. Snakes don't have outer ears. So, it dances with the movement of the bean. Actually, it does not dance by hearing the tune of the beans. But when they used to see the snakes dancing, it appeared like the snakes were dancing to the tunes of the bean. But actually, it was dancing parallel to the movement of the bean. Children, you must also have heard from your parents or grandparents that they used to see animal dances in their childhood. So if not, yet you have heard about it, you can ask your parents or your grandparents about it. Ask them which animals dance they had seen in their childhood. Children. I also want to tell you this that we should not hurt animals. They also feel the pain that you do. Only a few days back you might have heard that news of an hungry female elephant how she was fed with a pineapple with crackers fixed inside it by some mischievous person. Because the crackers bursted inside her mouth, the poor elephant suffered painful last times of her life because of human mischief and died. Not only this, my dear children, the elephant was about to give birth to a young elephant. This young elephant also died with the poor mother elephant. 
This is very sad incident. Even after so many laws imposed by the government, people still hurt animals. Children, you must promise me at least you will never hurt any innocent animal and you will not do any such mischief because of which animals would face troubles because you we and all of us all the other elements of the environment around us are dependent upon each other we do not have the right to hurt any other animal or bird at all now answer these questions on the basis of snake charmer's story what is the famous dance of snake charmers called your options are albelia kalbelia fulbelia all of these yes think yes kalbelia good you guessed the right answer okay now tell what was aryanath's grandfather's name let me give you options for your response listen carefully roshan lal roshan nath roshan singh none of them good roshan nath very good next is hurry up game let's play we should not fear these whom rats or snakes snakes excellent response let's now move ahead tell the name of the poisonous snake which you know options are cobra or ajgar correct cobra cobra is very poisonous dear students my grandfather and great grandfather everybody was singers or snake charmers correct they all were snake charmers so children i hope you all must have enjoyed listening this story with me and you might have understood it very well so your homework for today is that you will write the information you have acquired today in your own words so hurry up start your homework i will see you with another amazing story soon till then bye bye stay home and learn well